हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट नेटवर्क थ्योरम्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस सेट ऑफ वीडियोस वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टेलीजेंस थ्योरम ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू वीडियोस विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट नेटवर्क थ्योरम व्हिच इज रेसिप्रोसिटी थ्योरम okay reciprocity theorem so before uh, jumping into uh, the statement of reciprocity theorem let us uh, understand practically what this theorem means and then we will uh, go for the statement because directly if we jump into the statement it will sound very confusing suppose we have a circuit like this okay we have a circuit we have a voltage source and it is connected in this way okay this is the circuit let's say the current here is i okay let's say the current here is i here it is i1 here it is i2 and here it is i3 okay now suppose we shift the position of this voltage source we shift its position let's say we shift it to this this point this point let us redraw the circuit shifting the voltage source like this okay this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 this is r4 this is r5 this is r6 the voltage source is shifted here so now if someone asks what is the value of this current flowing what is the value of this current forget about all 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 of these things okay just focus on this current the branch in which the voltage source was present initially okay here in this branch the voltage source was present initially what will be the value of this current so here the current which will be flowing through this branch it will be equal to i1 okay and what is this i1 here the current which was flowing through the same voltage source in the first branch when it was in this previous position okay now suppose we have another condition we shift this voltage source from here to this second branch let's say we we shift it here okay
it is R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6. The voltage source is shifted here. Now someone asks, let's say, what is the value of this current? Please don't pay attention to the direction of the current. You can assign it arbitrarily, okay? What I'm trying to point out here, suppose you assign the current direction like this. No problem. The sign will change. It depends on uh, uh, what is the current value, okay? Just the current magnitude we're focused on. When we do nodal analysis and all of that, the actual current direction will be uh, available to us. We will find out. But right now, just I am focusing on the current on this branch, in this branch, okay, this R1 branch, regardless of its direction. Now, suppose someone asks, what is the value of this current? So, here, the current will be I2. Okay, here the current will be I2. And what is this I2? The current flowing in the same second branch when the voltage source was present here. See, in this first figure. That's why this first figure is the reference figure. This first figure is the reference figure. Okay, here. This is the reference figure. This is the reference. With respect to this, we can determine We'll come to the statement of reciprocity theorem later, but right now just focus on this. So here, when the voltage source was present here in the first branch and the current in this branch was I2, this voltage source shifted to the same branch, okay, here. And in this case, the current flowing through the branch where the voltage source was present initially is equal to I2. Here, the voltage source shifted from here to this second branch where the current was I1. So in that case, the current flowing through the branch where the voltage source was present initially is how much? I1, which was the same current flowing I1 when the voltage source was present in its reference position. Similarly, when this voltage source will shift to this last branch, okay, when it will shift to this last branch, okay, this last branch. Here, yeah. the current, I'm omitting all this middle part, the current flowing in the first branch this this current i will be equal to i3 okay this and what is this i3 it is the current flowing through this r5 and r6 branch when the voltage source was present in its initial position the shifting happened from this position this first position here to directly to the last branch okay the shifting happened there and when it shifted from this first position to this position the current in the initial position was the same current which which flow through the branches when the voltage source was in its reference position so here can you identify a pattern okay this pattern which you identify here is the statement of reciprocity theorem. Okay, so reciprocity theorem says that in any linear bilateral network, a voltage source acting in a branch, let's say any branch, let's say we call it X, okay, a voltage source acting, okay, in a branch X. Let's say it produces a current I in branch Y. This is branch X, this is branch Y. Let's call this R1, R2, R3, R4 this branch y 
this is branch uh, y this is branch x the voltage source present here in branch x causes a current flow i in branch y this is the initial condition the reference condition now suppose this voltage source it shifts to the branch y here this this position okay r3 r4 r2 r1 in that case the current flowing through the initial branch x this is branch y this is branch x will also be the same current which flew through branch y okay so a voltage source acting in a branch x causing a current flow of i in branch y then if that voltage source is shifted to branch y then will cause the same current i to flow in branch x okay see this okay but here you cannot say that the currents in the other branches will stay the same they might differ so here when in the first condition when the voltage source is shifted to the first branch this current in the initial branch is i1 but there is no guarantee that the currents in this third branch and second and third branch will be i2 and i3 on in this branch it will be i1 no the only guarantee is about this branch similarly when the voltage source is shifted to this third branch the only guarantee is that the current in the initial branch the first branch where the voltage source was initially present will be i2 but there is no guarantee about the other i1 and uh, this current flowing through the r4 branch starting from the voltage source and this r6 r3 branch no they will not be the same they will be different okay this is the statement of reciprocity theorem this is what reciprocity theorem is all about another important thing reciprocity theorem is only applicable for single source networks okay it is applicable only for single source networks that is networks consisting of a single voltage source in case of multiple source networks this theorem will not be valid so this is one of the limitations of reciprocity theorem but it comes in handy whenever you come across circuits where there is a single voltage source and there is interchange in its position and you have to quickly determine the current flowing through the branch where the voltage source was initially present so whenever reciprocity theorem comes into play there are certain things which are very important okay so the first thing which is important is the initial location of the source where the source was present initially that then current flowing through the specific branch where the source is shifted okay and this is the initial condition so first the initial location of the voltage source then the current in the specific branch where the voltage source is to be shifted so suppose the shifting has to happen from this branch 1 to branch 2 then first you have to determine the current flowing through this branch 2 that is r2 i1 that is very important with the with respect to the reference position of the voltage then another thing that is important is that the currents in other branches will be different okay it will be different by chance one or two in one or two cases or in certain cases they will come out the same but that is just pure chance but in most of the cases the other currents will be different the only guarantee is about the current flowing through the branch where the voltage source was initially present and another thing 
which is very important is single source networks okay single source networks this theorem is applicable only for single source networks that is circuits containing a single voltage source so this is the statement of uh, this is the whole concept of reciprocity theorem now we will solve circuits with the help of various circuit analysis techniques and will prove the validity of reciprocity theorem okay so this is just the basic concept now we'll prove it using various circuit analysis techniques that this theorem is valid this is justified okay 